was uh, recently diagnosed with gout. Uh, well, we kind of knew there was a history of gout, but we never were actually treating it. So we sent the patient for a blood test and the um, uric acid level came back really high. And so then he, he um, coordinated with his uh, primary care physician to get him on anti-gout meds. And so uh, he's been on it for 15 days um, so far, but uh, if you read the fine print on these um, medications, they say they can cause a gouty flare, even though that's counterintuitive, right? We're taking it to prevent gouty flares, but nonetheless it still happens. So he is here again with a gouty flare up and uh, I'm going to alleviate his pain by draining a gout. Okay, so um, we're, we basically anesthetize them. We, we numbed up this area here and I'm gonna use a bigger gauge, 18 gauge needle to be able to um, aspirate out the gout, okay? So as long as he's not having any pain, we're gonna continue. So you feel anything sharp right here? No. Good, anything sharp? No. Good. Okay, and I remember the first time I did this. I think we did this once before, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I thought, it looked like, his, his joint looked like a classic gout, okay? But then the differential diagnosis was septic joint because it looked like pus, but it was actually just gout. So that's good. Well, sort of good. But you and I both know that septic joints are not very fun to have either. So I may just have to squeeze this out because it's not coming willingly. Not very willingly. Mm -mm. So we got a little bit in there, as you can tell. But I'm just gonna have to squeeze out the rest. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that happened last time too, yeah, right? That's yeah. That's what happened last time. Yep. So again, we're just trying to limit the uh, the mess here. Oh, am I hurting you? No. Okay, I apologize for that. You let me know, okay? We're, we're friends now. You can just yell at me. You can just yell at me. You took that oath, right? Do no harm. There we go. Sometimes I make more than one hole, but I try to avoid it just because I can make less punctures. That's better, right? Less nitis for infection. Although they're tiny holes. So that, I think that's all she wrote. Okay. Yeah, um, looks pretty good. Yeah. Last time, you know, it, it, I think a day or two later, it kind of puffed up again. Mm -hmm. it came out. A oh yeah, bit. it leaked out a little bit. And then right. I, I put a little pressure, and some more came out. Yeah. I'm gonna try to. Is it hurting you? I mean, I'm pushing a lot of pressure, so I'm assuming I'm hurting you. It's not. It's not comfortable. It's not comfortable. It's not. I think it's just. Okay. Pressure on the bone. <laughs> yeah. I know. So I'm just going to make one more hole, okay? Yeah. Just for fun. Right here. Any pain? No. no nothing sharp? No. Nothing sharp? No. Good. Okay. Nothing. Oh, okay. I think we are all done for now. If something oozes out, you know what to do. Right. But um, keep taping, taking your uh, anti gout meds, your allopurinol, right? Is that right. what you're on additionally? Mm -hmm. um, you're not in any excruciating pain, so I don't need to prescribe you any colchicin or anything like no. that. Okay, cool. So we don't have to do that. Um, so what you saw was uh, gouty aspiration. Um, the first MBJ it usually attacks the first big toe joint. Um, that's typical red hot swollen joint. Um, is typically gout and pain on proportion. So. Today he's not so bad, maybe because he's on the meds, um, and that's uh, that's obviously a good thing. So he doesn't have to suffer the gout pain. Usually people call it the gouch, right, because it hurts so much. So patient's going to do well as long as the uric acid stays down. Then he won't have these um, uh, collections of sediment of the uh, the uh, crystals. So um, so yeah, let's see witness aspiration of gout from first big toe joint, right foot. Good stuff. All right, guys, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our.